Hey y'all, what's going on? It is Amy again with Bargain Mama. And I came on because I still can't post on the community page. And so I thought I would just do a haul real quick while I tell you what's happening. So I have a lot of pre-recorded videos and I have a lot of videos that are like DIYs that I'm doing at two and three in the morning. So unfortunately, I'm not gonna, like this is probably the only video I'm gonna mention this in because what sometimes when I watch other people's channels I'm like man I didn't come on here to listen to them complain like I'm sorry they're having a hard time but you know so I'm just gonna probably mention this only in this video but I so the reason and then my, I think my routine has been messed up a little bit too this is gonna post on Saturday and yesterday Friday's video normally I do do like crafting DIYs on Fridays because you comment on Friday and Monday's video in order to be entered into Wednesday's giveaway. So it's a DIY, but it's like a, a project share kind of thing. So the reason that is up is because I am falling a little bit behind in my DIY videos, not really my hauls, but my DIYs. I, if you've listened to some of my other videos, I have said that I have not been feeling the greatest and I wasn't sure what's wrong. And so, I do work two jobs, so it makes it a little bit more difficult for me to get into the doctor's office. And so I did decide this last week to go, and we did just, I got some lab work done and we found some issues, and so hopefully I will be seeing a specialist next week. But my biggest problem that I was facing was the fact that I had two, about three hours of sleep in three days. And I was continuing to go to work. I did have to cancel all my home health because there was just no physical way I could. But my regular job, I was still going to. And if you have not slept in days and days, like your brain gets foggy. You don't really know what you're doing, which is not safe in the line of work that I'm in. So I can handle all the other symptoms that I've had, you know, joint pain, like just I don't, anyway, so I can handle all the other symptoms, which is a lot of symptoms. I was just not able to tolerate the lack of sleep because then with the lack of sleep comes, I'm emotional, so I'm crying every time I turn around. So anyways, I just wanted to tell you that it's this week or this last week, Friday's video is a little bit out of whack. It is a DIY, but it's not like DIY videos, but you are going to see some this next week that I'm like, hey guys, and it's like two and three o'clock in the morning because I can't sleep. And the first night I couldn't sleep, I cleaned my whole house. Well, then the next night I just was like, huh, I don't know what to do. So I started doing my DIYs. And then Thursday night, I started doing my DIYs also. So Friday, my doctor prescribed me a sleeping pill. Cross my fingers that it works. I'm not big into pills, but I have got to get sleep. Like. It, it sleep is like the number one thing you need like it is horrible like I would rather sleep than eat so anyways with that being said it is a little bit messed up my videos I still plan on doing my giveaways the exact same way you have to comment on Monday and Friday's videos even though it wasn't a huge DIY video it's still the rules and then on Tuesday I will at seven o'clock I will shut that off pick a winner and on Wednesday I will pick the winner and send it out so with that being said who I have just it's kind of like a big jumbled up haul because the next couple of days besides my party tomorrow are going to be spent kind of relaxing and I don't want to say like bed it's not bedridden but a lot of bed time I guess and so I can't stay in bed that long and do nothing like I just can't do it so I got me quite a few things that either I can sit in bed and do or I can at least just sit at this table and do so it's four minutes in and I haven't even showed you the first thing so it is a compilation of Dollar Tree and Walmart so let's get started some of this you're gonna see me just flip through really quick because you guys have seen it and you're like, okay, Amy, that is enough. So I did just pick this up, the Instant Oatmeal Pumpkin Spice. It has five packets and it's a limited edition Autumn Mills. I got this because my middle son, so if you watch my vlog about being in LA, my middle son turns 20 October 3rd. Loves everything pumpkin, everything. So I'm putting together a little box for him and I'm going to put in as much of like pumpkin things that I can find. And so I bought this pumpkin spice instant oatmeal. These are not pumpkin spice, but I figured they were brown and they're his favorite, favorites, toaster, Pop-Tart. 
And so this is just the bonus pack, two free pastries, 14.7 ounces of the frosted brown sugar cinnamon. So that is also going to go into his thing. So I know there was something else and I'm trying my hardest to kind of keep it all to, oh, here it is. So let me get these out of the way here. All right, guys. Oh, that's going to be right in the video. So, oh, and now, geez, Amy. Okay. So I did pick up these limited edition Werther's original 2.22 ounces of the pumpkin spice soft caramels. So I'm going to throw this into his, but I picked up two because I was like, well, I've never had them. So I'm going to try them. If I don't like them, I'll just throw that bag into his also, but they're just the pumpkin spice. I picked up three of these. My husband loves these, loves them. He doesn't like pumpkin, but these he ate every single bag I had bought on our way to LA. So these are just the limited edition Werther's original Harvest Caramels, Caramel Apple Soft Caramels, 2.22 ounces. So I picked up three more bags of these for my husband. And I think that bag is, I mean, I'm just trying to get that bag out of the way so that, oh, just my same old, old snap. Dilly Bites Pickles, 3.25 fluid ounces. I'm telling you guys, these, if you have leg cramps, first of all, they're only 15 calories. I mean, they do have a lot of sodium, 660. But let me just tell you, if you have leg cramps or, I mean, my calves will cramp like no other. I eat one package of these a day, whether I want to or not. Like one package of these a day and I do not get leg cramps. And so for the past couple of days, I haven't really been eating them because I haven't really had an appetite and I've been, I don't wanna say pretty sick, but just not feeling well. And let me tell you last night, oh, my legs were cramping so bad. I had to get up and drink just the pickle juice out of the regular pickle jar because I was out. So I'm just saying, if you guys have cramps, anything like that, or if you have like a kid who does like cross country or football or something, and they're like going on an away game or they're going to practice, put one of these in their bag every day and tell them to eat it like during lunch or whatever. I'm telling you, they won't have it. My son plays football. He eats one of these. He does not have the cramps like he used to. Anyways more of these. <laughs> you guys have seen these before. These are just the home style dipping corn chips. 8.5 ounces. Those are for me. And this is the home style select French onion dip. 8.5 ounces. So if, and I googled it, but if you don't, if you're not getting enough sleep, one of the things that you will do is just eat, eat, eat. That's no joke, people. Like when I don't feel good, I usually don't eat. So the past couple of days I haven't been eating a whole lot, but now that I'm like extremely three days beyond sleep deprived, all I wanna do is eat today. So I'm, yeah, I, I went crazy with food. This right here, I plan on putting it in my bathroom to kind of help haul and wrangle in my makeup. I love that this is like a bright, it's not really bright, I don't like a coral and this is like a light pink. It is beautiful and it's a big basket. It doesn't tell me how big it is, but it's a big basket. So I just wanted to put my makeup in there so that, I can just wrangle it in. I don't like to pull out like this bag and then this bag and then this bag when I'm getting like my makeup. So I'd like to have the normal stuff that I will wear every day on a daily basis. And one thing, I pull it out, do what I gotta do, put it back. Anyways, excuse me. I am going to be doing, again, some little kind of DIY things while I'm just laying around. And one of the things I wanna do is you get a gift bag and like I'm gonna, you fussy cut like the princess is out and so then you glue the princess on the bag and then you use tool and it looks like her dress and so that's my plan is yeah so I'm gonna just make some gift bags and I'm just gonna put the princesses on there and I found I have a lot of gift bags I didn't need to get any but I thought these were so beautiful I got three of these and these are four inches by six inches and there are three of them and so just like for example if I wanted to cut out the princess right here, so I would fussy cut her out, I would glue her on the front of here, and then I would get some tool and just kind of crinkle it up where her waist is, and it would stick out, and it would be a little gift bag that is a princess one, and you can put like jewels around the top, whatever you want. So anyways, I figured fussy cutting would take me a long time, so that will be something good for me. And if I'm kind of like back and forth between everything, and like, you're like, wow, Amy, like, what are you on? Just please think of if you hadn't slept in three days. Oh, it's horrible. 
Anyways, I picked up this Christmas tree and it is by Christmas House. And these are not for me. This, I picked up two of the white ones because two of my children do not live at home. And so I plan on sending them to them. My middle son, I sent him one last year, it was green, and he actually put it up with all the little decorations I sent him because I'm a huge decorator for the holidays. And he actually said that it made him feel kind of at home a little bit that he had something to decorate with. So since my oldest son now has his own apartment, I bought one for each of them to put up in their apartments. Okay, I'm just gonna dump this out so I don't have to keep crinkling it. Sorry guys. Okay, ooh, my dogs are gonna love these. I forgot I got these. So, maybe I was hungry so I thought my dogs were hungry. I picked up these, so I thought they were all beef and cheese, they're not. So I picked up apparently two of the beef and cheese grain free filled bone long lasting 2.8 ounces. And then I guess I picked up two of the same but peanut butter. So I'm going to give that to them in just a minute. And then I did pick up, yeah, I knew there was four, four Sharpies. But with that being said, let me just show you guys. So I'm going to kind of mix Walmart and, sorry, I'm like losing my mind here. I'm going, sorry guys, I'll turn around just a minute. Oh my gosh, Amy. So, yes, here it is. So I picked, I picked up some Sharpies from the Dollar Tree because again, you know, I just, I'm gonna be doing a lot of stuff. These were a dollar each, right? So these were $4, I'll show you the colors in a minute. So $4 total. Then I went to Walmart because I needed to pick up some more stuff. I got these guys, $2.67 pretty much the exact same as Sharpie, except for they're called Penninger, which is Walmart's brand. Get out of here. Like, I'll, oh my gosh, yeah. And these are obviously different because they are the fine tip, which I want to make little fine lines and stuff. But yeah, guys, so this is, it says improved, improved longer life, whatever, 12 markers. Two, it was like $2.67 for 12 of these. That's like, I don't even know how many cents a piece, but, and look at the beautiful colors. So yeah, I got that. And then, yeah, so then I got the Sharpies from Dollar Tree, a dollar each. I got the blue, orange, kind of magenta, pinkish, and red. And you ask, what do I plan on doing with those? I know I'm all over the place, guys. Stick with me. Stick with me. It's going to be okay. So I don't even know what's piled up in my lap. So I picked up, I think, three packages of these, which is not a good buy because I was looking them up last night because I kind of went out with a mindset today of what I was looking for so that I could get it so that when I have to just sit around and do nothing, I would you know, have stuff to do. So it's not a good buy, but I wanted to try it out before I bought like a big bulk of them. So these, it says nine pieces. I'm only using three pieces of it. So these are three of the white buckets that I got out of the wedding section. And so I'm going to make them into Christmas ornaments. So the reason I got the fine tip things is because I wanna draw like little snowmen on here. And so I got the fine tip markers, but I am going to make some of them with little snowmen. Some of them, I'm going to put some little cotton balls in and I'm gonna put let it snow. So I picked up three of these, so nine in total, but be careful because they also had ones exactly the same that only had two. And it, so it said, I think six piece or something. Anyways, yeah, hold on stage, I'm sorry. So it had six pieces, same exact thing. So anyways, yes, I got, these have nine, three buckets. So I'm gonna try those and I'm gonna make them into ornaments. I did pick up just this little cup, hold on please Sage. Um, the blue truck with the farmhouse, the leaves, pumpkins and everything just because I just pick these up, cups like this all the time because I can only drink out of a straw. So I just thought it was cute and I got it. And I did pick up this craft knife set, seven pieces because I did my first what is it called? Like I cut a book, I got a book and then I cut a pumpkin out of it and I love it, I'm so in love. And so I, it says, I use scissors because I didn't have one of these. So I just picked this up so that I can get like little fine spots next time. So yeah, I picked it up. I'm, hopefully it works good. I am not actually, I don't wanna show those because I do later on have a Christmas little haul that I'm gonna do. Cause I've been picking up little things of Christmas here and there, so. All right, guys, I think I've said it before. I'm in love with funky socks. Every time I go to work, people are like, oh, what socks do you have on? So I saw these, they are the Juncture Crew socks. They say men's, but they're going on my feet, six to 12. They are little donuts. 
So I love these ones. It's just one pair, but it's little donuts. This one right here is Halloween. I was like, I don't have Halloween socks. Get out of here. So these are knee highs, five to nine. And they have the little witch with the purple and the gold. So I love these. Again, I didn't have any of those. And these are the women's five to nine. And I love them. They're little champagne glasses, which is so adorable. I love them. So it is two pairs. This one just has like the, the um, stripes that are really pretty colors. And then these are the champagne glasses. All right, guys, I'm not sure what's happening. Give me one second. I'm just going to hand these to the dogs right now because one just will not stop. So hold on. Oh, she likes it. Good, here. Okay, so now all my dogs are going to come here. Sorry, guys, I'm just going to do it right here on film. So here, mommy has your one. So I'll, I'm sure the others will be here in just a minute once they find out that these guys got food. Oh, here comes one. Here, here, John. It's so funny because I give them snacks and they will smell them first to see like, am I going to like that? And the Belle, our little princess, she will smell and leave. She'll be like, mm, no, that's not a good enough snack for me. Um, so anyways, I don't know where she is here. Her back. Okay. Sorry guys. I'm back. All of them have their snack and hopefully they'll stop whining for a minute. So I picked up one, two, three. I think I picked up three or four packages of just these two piece crafter square Christmas ornaments. And I know I have a Christmas haul that's going to be coming up, but I want to use these during my downtime also. So I can do DIYs with them. So there's just two of them. They're just white. I don't know if they will fit in. I have a couple ideas for these. I don't think they will, but let's see. I'm going to open this. Mm. No, they won't. But I have another idea that I'm going to do with them anyways. So after last night's fiasco cutting a book, I needed new scissors. So I just picked up the Westcott all-purpose five-year eight-inch bent just scissors. And then I did pick up detailing scissors, four inches, because I'm going to be fussy cutting a lot. And so, yeah, that's, that's what I got. And I'm sorry, like I said, if I'm just kind of like swinging through it, I just wanted to get this done so I can go relax and just start on my stuff and kind of hopefully start feeling better soon. I did pick up two of these pumpkins. I have a million and a half times been like, Nope, seen them, nope, nope. But again, with a lot of time on your hands, I'm gonna need stuff to do. So I just picked up two of the big foam, like there's hollow inside pumpkins so that I can decorate them. Okay, I'm sorry guys. Give me a second here so that I can, okay, I'm sorry. That's all that's enough. I know, people are like, Amy, we've been gone a while. We are not watching your video anymore. I understand. I do. So I think that is all of my Dollar Tree while I'm looking around. Yes, it is. Okay. That's my Dollar Tree. All of it. And then, so I'm cheap and I will try to buy everything I possibly can from the Dollar Tree. But my husband is right. Like just because it comes from the Dollar Tree, like sometimes you need to pay a little bit more. So I did pick up, oh Amy, I'm so sorry guys. I am on the hunt for one bag. Okay. So to do the ornaments that I want to do, Dollar Tree paint is just not going to cut it. Sorry, it's just not. So I stopped at Walmart and I picked up the Apple Barrel Multi-Surface Outdoor Indoor Two Fluid Ounces Satin Acrylic Paints. So I picked up this one, Princess Pink. And again, I'm going to use them on the ornaments and something else I'll show you in a minute. I picked up two of the white because I'm doing Christmas DIY, so I need white. I did pick up one of this bluish, which is called Atlantis, because I'm in love with those colors right now that people are coming out with. No, oh, I already gave you your snap. They're back. There's no way they finished them. I did pick up this Mountain Forest because, again, I'm doing Christmas DIYs. This one I picked up in black. And this one I picked up in electric blue and they are all the multi-surface satin two fluid ounce. Okay. So what I'm going to use those on is, let me show you. So I picked up a lot. Let's just say a lot. I'm trying not to break them. 
So I have always wanted to do, the good thing about having downtime is things that you've always wanted to do, you will have plenty of time for now. So I've always wanted to do like the little clay pots and paint them as something else. So this one right here is very little. This is two inch flower pot. I picked up 10 of these, I believe, and they're like 47 cents. It just dawned on me. I did not tell you guys. I think these are the only things I didn't tell you what they were, and I think they were 87 cents. Everything else was obviously a dollar because it came from the Dollar Tree. 87 cents for each of those. All right, back to this. So this was, I believe, 47 cents. And it's just the Pennington two inch flower terracotta pot. So, oh, that's what I wanted to see. That's, I wanna see if this will, yes. So I, <laughs> I'm gonna make little ice cream cones for one of the things just because I have to tell you that. Like it is going to be the cutest little ice cream cone ever. So that was one of my plans. I'm so glad it fits in there because you know, you get home and you're just like, man, that all those ideas are gone. What am I gonna do now? And then I did pick this one up and this is 4.25. I think I picked up like seven or eight of these. And for these, I'm going to paint them Christmassy, but I also want to make little fall gift basket kind of things for my coworkers. No, Belle, I'm sorry. For my coworkers. So I'm going to paint these and probably put some sort of scarecrow or something on them. And then I'm just gonna put in like some excuse me, I'm going to put in like some tea, some, I don't know, snacks, all that stuff, and just give each one to my coworkers during Thanksgiving, because Thanksgiving and Christmas, I give all my coworkers something. So I've done it forever. I love doing it. So yeah, I know I can tell that I'm like all over the place and I'm a mess. So I am just going to apologize to you guys. So I did only pick up two of the bottoms of these small pots because most of the things I wanna do that you don't need them. But one of the things I wanna do is to make it a little candy dish. So I got that for that. Another thing I wanna do is make a gumball machine. So I'll get the thing that goes on top of it, the little circle thing, and then I'll put this on top for the gumball. So I picked up two of these. These ones, I think were 147, and these I believe were like 97 cents. I thought these things came together. Like, I'm like, no, these go together. Like. No, mm -mm. guys, you buy them separate. They make their money somehow. I have not been happy at all with the Dollar Tree paintbrushes. And if you're doing a large area, I guess it's okay, but I'm not. So I did bear down and pay $5 for a thing of paintbrushes. These are 10 pieces, folk art premium glass painting brushes. I just read that it was glass, that could suck. I'm not painting glass, I don't know that it really matters. They're all different kind of sizes and all that stuff so and it tells you on the bottom how many there are but we are already 23 minutes into this video so you guys know they are paint brushes okay so I was very sad because these are not luau themed but I got them anyways because I don't think people are going to care I'm going to make little adult Capri Suns for my party that is happening on Saturday so it is still happening even though I am pretty sick and so my husband hired someone to come in and do like the floors and the bathrooms and stuff so that it would be clean before. My father-in-law is going to do like the, I want to, like the main meal cooking, which is going to be like a smoke pulled meat and he makes his own barbecue sauce. And so since it's not till two tomorrow, my oldest son and my husband, one second, please. I'm sitting here and I was like, what is that noise? And my dog was jumping up on the counter to get something off of it. Okay, anyways, so everyone is pitching in. I was like, we're just gonna cancel it. My husband's like, no, you have worked too hard for this. So we're gonna go through with it, guys. We are going to go through with it. So I picked these up and they were $1.98 for four of them, so like 50 cents each. I know I saw people haul them from the Dollar Tree. I've not found them. I'm not going, it's just not worth it to keep, I've probably gone to five and they don't have them, so. I picked them up. So I'm just going to make, it says fill your energy up. Man, do I need you. But anyways, I'm just going to make a little adult Capri Sun. So I picked up three packages, which is 12, and they're $1.88. So I need to make my Capri Suns tonight. I did pick this up. It is the Fanned Out Volume Mascara, 6 point, no, 0.22 fluid ounces, L'Oreal. Normally, it was on here. I think it's normally like nine something. I don't know. So I got it for $4. I needed mascara, so I got it. 
that might be it guys. I think you guys are in luck. I think that is all of my haul. Yes, it is. So guys, I cannot wait to see my specialist next week because I think he is going to be like a miracle worker. That's my hope. And I cannot wait. So I'm not going to video these DIYs just because like I said, I, yeah, I'm just going to be kind of doing them while, um, so at this point, what the plan is, is I might have to have a couple of blood transfusions and iron transfusions. So if you've ever had those, which I have, but it's been like 14 years, they take hours and hours. It's almost like a dialysis patient. And I'm like, I'm not sitting there for hours waiting. So my plan is to take some of this stuff with me in like a little craft bag, like a little old lady with my little knitting bag and to do these while I'm doing that. And then sometimes afterwards, I don't feel the greatest after I get a blood transfusion. So then I can lay in bed and do some of this stuff. So anyways, that's why I got so much stuff and I'm just not going to be showing the DIYs, but I'll show you afterwards. And it's kind of the same as my DIYs because I don't DIY. It's like kids know when you don't feel good. So they act bad. My dogs know when I'm not feeling well. So anyways, guys, yeah. I will show you guys what I make. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm out of this. But I hope that you guys have a great day. And I will definitely video a little bit of my luau party. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye, YouTube.